You know, at this point, I'm convinced that Timefall 2 is just never going to die. The things that are going to survive a nuclear holocaust are going to be cockroaches in Timefall 2's multiplayer. It just seems like the community just refuses to let this game die, but for good reason. In this video, I want to talk about why that's the case. But first, I have to address the elephant in the room when it comes to Timefall, and that was the insane support you guys gave me in our last video. I mean, oh my god. I never suspected a Timefall video to pop off like the last one did, so thank you guys so much for your continued support on the channel here. Also, I want to talk about what I saw in the comments section. Some uh, some veteran players seem to notice that I was a little uh, less acquainted with the movement mechanics in this game. So what I'm focusing on this time is just not to touch the ground. Just zoom. Just constantly zoom. So apparently in time fall, the floor is lava. Like right now, I'm in pain. I gotta stop. And apparently bunny hopping is the way to live. So here we go. And I'm not hit fire right now. Well, yeah, well, there you go. Even though the internet would definitely like to let you know that Titanfall was dead, it never truly has been dead. It definitely has been reduced in popularity, but there's always been enough people playing the game where you should be able to like find matches and just have fun with the game. Obviously, the recent update has changed a lot of that to where now you can actually find matches in other modes. EA even let this game rot. They EA considered this game abandoned wear, and yet the children still yearned. Like I yearn for kills. But what does EA Respawn need to do to keep this momentum going? To keep Titanfall within the minds of the community? To keep people on and playing? Because if there's anything modern gaming has shown that developers value their time more than anything else. And if you can get a player's time for a game, that's all you really need. But one thing EA and Respawn need to do for Titanfall is not let me die so easily! Oh my god, the hip fire. I think what I'm talking about are like new experiences to have with the game, right? No, it doesn't have to be anything too crazy. They're just like a nice little update here and there. Like we have beginning with the game. Oh, I can probably jump in the back of this guy right here. Oh, no, I can't. You know, just some kind of modes that kind of just mix things up a little bit, you know? And they've been doing that with the game, which has been fantastic. Like recently they added in that mode with like a bunch of question marks. Apparently it was just like a rocket launcher game mode. That's just fun. Just added in some form of a new experience when you log in to go, okay, this is something worth trying out. We know that DLC is just not going to be happening anytime soon with this game. I mean, we're fortunate enough that this game even is in a functional state at this point because EA basically considered Titanfall abandoned wear. Kind of thing that EA and Respawn need to do with Titanfall to make sure they can just at least keep the franchise alive and moving. Is letting me get more kills. Come on. No, but the big thing is to not let hackers take over this game. So many times we've seen it where some beloved franchises are kind of just left alone because, you know, they got a little long in the tooth, a little older. That hackers eventually find a way and they kind of just end up taking over an entire game. No game is immune to this. Like, for example, the Call of Duty franchise has been dealing with hackers like, like all the time now. Even back on the Xbox 360 and Call of Duty 4 and World at War, Black Ops 1 and just so many other games out there. There's fantastic games even on the 360 on the console they're hacked and just left to die and unplayable and we know that ea doesn't exactly have uh, much of a soul when it comes to keeping projects alive because you know we want game preservation and yada 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 Oh my god, you guys are right. The wall running is key. Well, the way hacking can definitely affect a gamer's experience when it comes to just any first person shooter game is that like you can have 20 straight, amazingly clean, fun games. You have that one game with a hacker and it will just negate everything for the past X amount of hours you played. Oh, let's rodeo this B right here. Let me just take that core from you right there. Oh my god. Oh, no, 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 here we go. <laughs> like, we saw what happened when it came to hackers. When it comes just to Warzone 1, how people were just willing just to just not even bother with that. Not even bother with one of the most popular modes out there because of how much hacking there was in the game. I don't think I'm asking for too much just to make sure that, you know, Titanfall 2 will remain playable. And hopefully the anti-cheat, if there is one, I don't know, can keep up with uh, the never-ending wave of people who want to hack in video games because they are the scourge of the earth and they will always come back. Another thing that, whoa, my God. God, I just very well was about to get into another talking point. This Titan literally all landed right next to me. That could have been the saddest Titan run I've ever had in my life. Point number three here is just keep the servers running, man. Keep them working. I guess so we can actually play this game and experience it. Like the reason why Titanfall 2 is so popular and people are talking about it now is because you haven't been able to play this game. Like literally haven't been able to play it for the longest time. Now I know that Titanfall 2 has technically been playable for the longest time. But I'll get into why it was, but also wasn't at the same time. That's called a tease. But yeah, if EA and Respawn just keep the servers up playable, let's so that people can actually jump in and enjoy this game. It'd just be so 
appreciated by the community. It's like, just can't help but think that EA would want people to be playing Dying Fall 2 because it gets people playing their titles in their ecosystem. That whenever people see EA shooter, people go, oh, they play, they made Titanfall. Well, I like Titanfall. I don't think people would just play it, but you never know. I'm gonna laser this B right here. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Get absolutely wrecked. Oh my God, not even a chance. Not even a chance. Get him off me, yeah. <laughs> Another thing I would ask just respawn and EA to do is just keep Titanfall active and not in just the servers working, the player counts, yada, yada, yada. I mean, keep Titanfall active within the gaming community at large. Like for example, the last tweet from the Titanfall account was back in December 23rd of 2017. Obviously, like tweets don't make a popular game, but you can have fun with the community. Talk about like nostalgia, play off of that factor and really kind of keep a active community around your franchise. Just keep Titanfall 2 in the people's minds, you know? I mean, Apex Legends is set within this universe. So there are certainly unique opportunities that can spring up when it comes to maybe like a crossover or something cool where you bring in the community or just kind of like what they did with this recent update where they had like Nessie come in, right? And you can play and find little Easter eggs within Titanfall 2. Maybe even give Apex players a little bit of a reward for playing Titanfall 2 every once in a while. Like something small, like a nameplate, some kind of emblem. I don't know. Whatever Apex players like. I don't play the game. Oh my gosh, look at all them crawling in. What is this guy? No! Just having Respawn share something Titanfall related every once in a while just gets people excited. People love this franchise and they want to see it continue on. Oh, this guy's getting so spicy with me. Not anymore. Did I, did I bunny hop enough for you guys there? Did I do it right? And another reason why Titanfall 2 is never going to die, and I alluded to this earlier, is because of the community. Such a strong community with Titanfall 2 that they will just refuse to lose. They will not let this game go down. Perfect example with that is with the North Star client. People within the community were like, you know what? Titanfall 2 might be considered abandoned wear by EA, but God damn it, we're not abandoning it. And good for them, man. I'm happy about that. The community literally made this game playable. Now, I know it's old news, right? But let me cook here by talking how giving the community the tools to run with your franchise, to run with your game, create something new, fun, and exciting is exactly what keeps a community going, what keeps a game alive. Now, I'm not necessarily saying we need mod tools or something like that, but just give players the ability to enjoy their game and not let the game become abandonware. Especially in this digital era where we're seeing so much content that gets created, enjoyed, and then kind of left behind and then eventually just taken off of like any kind of streaming service and things like that. Media preservation is really going to be a problem coming here really soon. So the community will never let this game down and that's why Time Bowl 2 will never go away. Let's see some real ones in the comments. Leave a hashtag GG for if you think I improved at Titanfall now from last video. Or if you think I still suck, just do a hashtag get good.